Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's been a bit weird. I haven't been on camera in a little while. Uh, just been massively sort of burnt out with it. Uh, not so much with the training. Training's been going okay. Um, not the best. Uh, but yeah, just like filming and just all the extra stuff that comes with the challenge, setting things up. Um, it's just been, yeah, just a lot. <laughs> Um, and then also I've got gigs coming back, so I've got my first gig on Friday, and I've got another one on Saturday, and then I've got like two the week after, and yeah, there's actually a lot of gigs coming back in, um, which is really cool, uh, but it's just suddenly a hell of a lot to do, and I've got to remember how to play drums again, and it turns out I suck, so, so that's really helpful, uh, and it's just like time management of things has become very difficult. But that is no excuse. That's what's been happening, and I could do better, but I haven't been doing better. So, yeah, that's where we're at. But basically, the challenge has moved. It's, uh, it's a week earlier. So, it's moved from the 31st of July to the 24th of July. So, I will start on probably the 23rd, we think, at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's the most likely thing. So the other things that happened is the trailer has had brakes fitted to it and the handle has been changed and the proper harness has now arrived. I have not tested this yet because I had my, well, I was gonna do it on Saturday, but it was chucking it down with rain and the kit, the cases aren't waterproof at the moment. I haven't got anything to go over the top, so I couldn't do that. And then yesterday I had my COVID vaccine uh, and uh, it made me black out, <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I've been a little bit like sort of unsure, um, so I'm basically going to wait and see how I feel later on today. If I feel really good later today, I will go for it. If not, I'm going to do it tomorrow, um, but I'm not too worried. But basically, that means that today is the start of my final training block. So I have one six-week training block left, followed by a taper week, followed by a hundred miles towing a drum kit. <laughs> which is mad. Um, I have my first official ultra marathon in 11 days, which is wicked. Um, so I'm just looking at that now, but basically I have scrubbed clean my uh, sort of like training calendar and I'm, I'm just gonna build a training block now um, that incorporates the two ultra marathons that I've got between now and the big run which is also an ultra marathon so um yeah i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna restructure the training so i sort of build over these next six weeks get myself to a good place fitness wise not push too hard speed wise i'm not going for any improvements in speed i'm literally just going for sort of resilience training now just so that my body can withstand the 100 miles Okay, wicked, so it's Tuesday, and the training plan has begun. I tested the trailer yeah, yesterday, and the handle of it and the way I'm pulling it was slightly not working, so the guy who adapted it is coming out in probably about 15 minutes, and we're gonna do another little adaptation to it to see if that helps it, uh, and that should pretty much get it done. So at the moment I've made it so that there's like a loop. I say I've made it, I didn't do any of it. Um, a guy called Matthew, uh, who has been helping me out, uh, he did it. So I just asked him what to do and uh, yeah, I got it wrong, what I thought I wanted. So we made a loop, but the problem is um, when I run with the harness, there's a bit of slack in the harness. And as I run, I hit the front of the loop and it stops my legs from moving. So we're gonna cut out the front of the loop and just make it two side sort of posts so that I can grab onto it if needed but yeah that should be cool so that's gonna to happen today so today's run was not with the trailer even though it kind of should be but that's alright because tomorrow's run will be so today was a swim at quarter to eight this morning for 45 minutes uh, followed by a lot of 
croissants from Lil's. <laughs> um, and then I did a five mile run and went straight in the gym. This feels like the most extreme bit of filming I've ever done. I've got the massive gimbal. <laughs> it should just walk down the road so I can film the trailer. Um, but yeah, uh, can I, from this angle, can I? Yeah, ah, that worked. Yeah, look, I've got harness, everything. Let's get this. I have no idea if the gimbal's pointing in the right way. And I can't do the harness one handed, so we're just gonna go for unthinged harness. Um, yeah, so this is basically it. The trailer has no sides. Um, the audio is gonna be terrible because I have to take the, uh, what do you call it, the microphone off for this. And my snare drum's gonna fall off. But yeah, all should be good. Here. Of course there is a dude coming. That's the postman. Right, I'm going to film this. Okay, so modifications are working. And here comes the first proper hill. <laughs> I'm going to die. The whole idea is just slow, steady, just never stop. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so I've noticed this up and it's horrendous on the cars, but it's doable. Just gotta go slow, just gotta not overly push myself. So now I've got my first steep descent. How I can tell with that? I'm gonna put the camera down. I don't fancy dying. But yeah, I'll see you at the bottom. Just had a guy come past in his van. And like, I've got the sign on the back so you can see he donated some money. What a legend! Absolute legend. Whew. Right, downhill didn't go too bad. So, another uphill now. This one is not as steep, which is good. So yeah, let's have it. Oh, that first mile was 1658. Halfway through hill number two. Whew. It's hot today. It's really hot. <laughs> it's not the worst thing ever. But just like just coping with the new feeling of pain because it's not quite the same pain as just like running 50 miles um, like it hurts in different places and I'm not used to blocking those places out so this is all good training all right so I'm nearly at the highest elevation point now so most of the climbing is done. Um, long downhill now. I have to hold on downhill to try and keep it like breaking a bit. And I find that really, really makes my triceps ache, which is quite painful. But hopefully I'll get used to that. But this route is a lot of climbing in not very many miles. There's only five miles, but it's a lot of climbing, so that's going to make a difference. Whereas I should have a lot longer between climbs. The only problem is the majority of the climbing is at the end. <laughs> so, yeah, I've always got that to look forward to. Okay, downhill is ridiculously hard. That's going to be the slowest by far. It was just like, it was just going to run me over, just constantly. Like, it was so hard to keep it under control. I managed to all the way down, but like, I was going so slow that the watch was like auto pausing, which is not great. But one of my things has come off. Hold on. So, unfortunately, these D-shackles keep coming off. 
so I need to find a way of getting them tighter. Probably need to stick some glue in them just so they don't come undone. Um, so yeah, I'll do that when I'm home. But that's the second time one of them's come off, which is really annoying. But um, the other one, yeah, that's loose. Okay, need to fix that. Cool. Um, I've got a big hill coming up now. <laughs> um, and then yeah, and then it's pretty flat until I'm home. The downhill is really hard. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with it. Uh, so I thought it'd be interesting to show you what I've actually done with the kit because I haven't actually shown you how it's put together. So basically, that's my bass drum in its case, but then inside that is the floor tom, which is here. That's all the bass drum spurs, not spurs, lugs. That's the one that I've taken off already. I took those off before I thought it'd be interesting to film it. Um, and then inside is my bubble wrap floor tom. Uh, and then inside that, so if I take the bubble wrap off and take that out, inside that is the high tom. <laughs> so yeah, but it's all got to come out tonight because tonight I have my first gig in forever since I think the 7th of March 2020. That was my last gig and it is now the 11th of June <laughs> 2021. That's mental. Um, yeah, so. I'm probably going to be rubbish, but there we go. So yeah, that's how it's all kind of put together. So, because I need to save space, otherwise I needed a huge trailer to tow everything. I had to put everything inside of it. So it's all like Russian dolled inside each other. And it's actually done a fair few miles on the trailer and the trailer has no suspension and it's come out really well. So that is complete kudos to uh, Hardcase because that's wicked. These cases are so good. I've actually dropped my snare down a flight of stairs in a hard case and it was absolutely fine so yeah i mean doesn't get better than that does it but i uh yeah i'm gonna get all this sorted as quick as i can and then i gotta run to the dentist uh and then i've gotta basically just get all the kit out make sure everything works make sure i'm happy with everything tune everything up uh get it in the car take it to bristol for my first gig um, and then yeah, and see how it goes. I might bring the GoPro with me and show you a little bit of the gig. Uh, that'd be fun. And tomorrow I got my second gig with a different band, so that'd be fun. It's all happening now. Okay, cool. So everything is out now. I have actually been to the dentist and back since. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how the uh, high tom is inside. But um, let's just have a look at how good Yamaha drums are because so this has been in bubble wrap in the floor tom which has then been in bubble wrap in the bass drum which has then been in its case and put on the trailer and towed for how far have i towed it i must have towed it at least 30 miles um and it's been in the garage and it's by the way it's been packed up like that for months now probably like three or four months <laughs> and it's not that far out of tune it's a little a bit of a pitch drop but generally you could set that up a gig yeah you could set that up a gig and get away with that easily <laughs> that's ridiculous that is stupid like and the differences in temperature it's also been like that in the car and taken and then dragged up a hill and that is mental to still sound that good after that, that's ridiculous. Obviously, I can't do the floor tom and the bass drum the same because I've had to take the skin off to actually get the drums out. Um, but yeah, so that one drum that's sat in the middle, that's pretty ridiculous. Well then, Yamaha, nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. 